According to an estimate, uh, around 2% of the total population of the cities are of the vendors. Vendors do not get space in the planning, and this is the reality. And I would like to uh, pinpoint this uh, citing example of my city, that is Ahmedabad. Uh, we have organized 84,526 street vendors in Ahmedabad city. Why do vendors exist? Markets and vendors exist because citizen exists. And natural market exists because there is a demand of goods. Like for example, near the temple, you will find coconut uh, seller or flower vendor or incense stick uh, vendor. What we can see from this uh, map is that, that natural markets are concentrated on the footpaths and the main roads. And in the periphery of middle of Ahmedabad, for good planning of the city, these natural markets have to be considered because on one hand, it, pro it provides livelihood and the second hand, it provides basic amenities to the uh, public on the doorstep. This is the Isanpur ward, and you can see the red zone. The green, green dots are all vendors. So there will be no vendors in this Isanpur ward. And there are around 8,000 uh, street vendors are vending in this. Isanpur ward. So you can see the narrow, very narrow lines. The, uh, so that is green zone. And this green zone is mo mostly in the residential area. So nobody will go there and when because residents will oppose. And the amber zone is that, that you can vent there with the permission of the local authority. Actually, we filed a public interest litigation in the uh, High Court of uh, Gujarat. And Honorable High Court passed the order that local authority should frame the scheme for the street vendors of Ahmedabad. According to this scheme, the 15 meter road will be declared as green vending zone, which will be free for vending. 15 meters to 30 meters road will be restricted vending, vending zone. And if you want to vend in this area, you have to take permission from the local authority, which is not included. How to get the prior permission, which is not included? 30 meters road are declared as a red vending zone. There are 184 natural markets. Out of it, 88 natural market falling in the amber zone uh, and providing livelihood to total number of 16,491 street vendors. Uh, 41 natural markets falling into the red vending zone providing lively, livelihood to total number of 22,417 vendors and only 55 natural markets falling in the green zone and it provides uh, livelihood to 8,445 8, street vendors. We have done a, a schematic plan for one of the market that is Manek Chok market. This is the situation right now. This market is like very old natural market and around 320 street vendors are vending uh, vegetables and fruits. So we have made the schematic plan. So what you can see from this plan is that Green color shows the uh, vending platform on one side of the road. They are facing the uh, shops. There is a space for parking also. Another 
plan what we have made is this is a Jamalpur natural market where 947 uh, street vendors are vending and they are selling different types of uh, things like vegetables, flowers and uh, fruits and now we have a overbridge in this area under this Jawaharlal Nehru National Urban Renewal Mission and they are facing problem because sometimes the officials from the corporation comes and they just remove them and they are not allowed to sit uh, sit there all the vendors can be accommodate under the under the bridge our recommendations are that one is that city planning should focus on enhance, enhancing and sustaining livelihood of informal sector, including street vendors. Include 2% of public space for the vendors in all urban areas. Regularize the existing vendors in the natural market in the plan man manner, that is making schematic plan and by reorganizing vendors. Third is that city infrastructure projects should be planned and undertaken in participatory process with the affected sector. Uh, and the fourth is the inclusion of the natural markets in the newer areas which are developing in the city and provision of the same in the new tip schemes. Thank you.